Hello guys, Salman Naseem here. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to create character animation in Blender without any skill. Even if you are a beginner, you can still create a cartoon character or a character animation with just few clicks. To see the magic, let's switch to the screen. Okay, first of all, go to Maximo.com, which is amazing tool by Adobe and it's absolutely free. Adobe's tools are mostly not free, but that is exactly free. But that is a free tool and it is super awesome. If you are a beginner, that is best tool for you. We have a number of pre-made characters in uh, within Maximo, which we can select any character from there and click on use this character. And uh, the best part is we can animate it within no time. Like once the character is completely loaded over there, we just we just need to go to the animation over here and there are thousands of animation for each and every character. Like uh, we select this unarmed jump. You can see that our character start jumping within no time and we can export it which we will see later in a video. First of all, we'll see if we have our character, like we have created some character in Blender or in any other character creator which we have discussed in our previous video, which with the title free character creators for, for a Blender. So once it's created, we'll have to uh, export it as OBJ or IPX. Both of these format is supported by Maximo. So we'll have to click on uh, upload character and select the file, select, uh, select the obj, uh, select the obj or fbx file over here. That will upload the file over there and uh, it will take little time to process it. That is where magic is already start happening uh, with the title auto rigging tool by Maximo. Like we'll have, we can rig our character within no time. Just click on a next and uh, uh, Maximo is asking for which kind of rig we want to use. We can select with the finger or no finger, uh, depend on your requirement. We'll go for the we'll go for standard skeleton which have 65 bones inside it. For these bones, we'll have to put the reference. First of all, we'll put the chain over here. We, uh, if you have any confusion, you can check from there where you will have to put these marks uh, and wrist from there to here and elbow to here and lastly knees and second last knees and lastly this one. This one we will have to place uh, at the middle of both legs. You can see somewhere over here. Just click on the next button and uh, the Maximo will analyze our, our marks and after processing it will rig this character for us. Normally it take 2 to 3 minutes to process it. Even they mention over there our auto rigging algorithm can take up to 2 minutes. Once the process is done, the rigging tool allow us to check the rig whether it is working perfectly fine or there is any issue between legs or any other. Uh, if there is any issue, we can still switch back uh, to the auto rigging tool. If everything is go if everything goes well, we'll click on a next button and next again. That way, our character will come here. You can see that our character is jumping from there. So we'll select this uh, this one short reaction with spin. It's time to bring that file to the blender. For that, we'll click on download button. We have choice to create uh, FBX or uh, in I'll go for uh, this one FBX binary, which is uh, which uh, which works perfectly in Blender, and click on download. Just select the location where you want to download the animation. Once the downloading, once the downloading is done, we'll switch back to Blender and delete the default cube. Yeah, we'll click on File, Import, and FPX, and Import FPX. If we play the animation over here, you can see that our character start working over there, 
and the animation is done. Congratulations, you are animator. <laughs> so that is the most easiest tool to create a character 3D character animation within Blender or within any other tool like Maya 3D Max or any other 3D tool. That is the most easiest way to create a 3D animation. Hopefully as a beginner you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the red button. See you in the next video.